right-hander Randy Wells. Suffered his first loss last time out against the San Diego Padres. Actually pitched really good in that ball game. Seven innings, gave up only five hits. The veteran Randy Wolf. See the two and one record on the season. This will be his 11th start of the season. In the previous 10, he had seven no decisions. And Juan Pierre with another base hit. He came in at 404 on the season. They have not missed Manny Ramirez's bat. Rafael for call and Pierre running and the ball gets away from Soto and thankfully Juan did not see the ball get away or he might have thought about third. That's his 10th steal of the season. Doesn't always look pretty but they scored a bunch of runs as for call slaps that ball past Fontenot and into shallow left. Pierre's going to score easily. You talk about small ball. We've seen for call do this throughout his career that slug bunt. he shows bunt early draws the third baseman in and then slaps the ball past him. The 0 one Soriano out into the alley in left center Kemp with a good arm is going to get it back in pretty quickly. And keep Soriano to a single nobody on. There's a double play ball and it goes six four three and just like that two outs. But I never heard Tommy Lasorda say he bleeds cubby blue. You're right. It's Dodger blue for him. They pitch out and they're going to not get Kemp. And he got a good jump and was able to beat the throw for his 10th stolen base. Uh, Giovanni Soto maybe a little too deliberate on that pitch out. You're not really sure if the runner's going when you pop out from behind the plate and in this ballpark. Nine innings, six hits, no runs. Driven deep the other way by Lee Ethier chasing after. It's going to be off the wall. In fact, just sits there right in the grass. And it's a double for D. Lee. Got him that time. Called strike three. Third strikeout for Wolf. Cubs strand a runner at second base. Brown ball base hit. Boy, the ball has eyes when the Dodgers are up there. Here's a throw to third. It's going to be a little wide. Throw to second. Safe. They had a shot. And Loney at second base. But Terrio's throw tailed a bit to the right. Pulling Blanco away from the bag. Everybody in the lineup is hitting. Yeah, that's when you take some chances. Terrio will throw to first. It'll be an RBI ground out for Blake. And he got off to a great start, as did the Dodgers. Tapper passed Wells. Blanco will go glove to glove. Nicely done by the Cubs second baseman. Switch pitcher uh, is doing. I think he's with the, the Yankees minor league system. There goes the bat. Look out right into the third row. Of the seats behind the dugout as Blanco strikes out. That's four already for Randy Wolf. Missing their third baseman, Aramis Ramirez, in particular. Six, four, three. That's a double play. Pulled and Blanco dives late. Drag their hand behind him. He is running and it's going to hold up for Johnson. That'll be an easy double play as Pierre was already past second base. So two outs. Foul tip strike three. The pitch. Swing and the miss. So the two lefties are combined 0 for 4 and all four outs have been strikeouts. And Wolf strikes out the side after the Soto single at seven on the night. Pulled deep and Bradley can't get it. It splits Johnson and Bradley and Ethier has a stand up double. To third backing up Fontenot. He'll throw to first. Martin retired. Dodgers done in the sixth. Ground ball for call. 
turns a routine 6 3 double play, and that ends the Cubs' sixth huge sports fan. Called strike three. Kemp is erased. The air will come up after two strikeouts. The 1 0 pitch from Wolf, and this could be no. two. And they turn it. That's that didn't the help you guys. Third double play turned by the Dodgers. Can you hang for two more minutes? We'll follow up with you, Bill. Sure. Movie coming out this summer, Michael Mann's movie. Always a pleasure, Bill. Thanks, fellas. It's always a pleasure for me, really. Making some noise. Deep fly for Bobby Scales, left center, out near the wall, and into the bleachers. Two to one. Great at bat for Scales. Cubs pull within a run. Kick and the 0-2, and he struck him out. Don't worry as much about the double play with Soriano at the plate, but you do with Terrio because he hits a lot of ground balls, and he is now grounded into two double plays tonight. Bob Rosenberg has changed it. It is a steal and a swing and a miss to get out of the inning. Cubs are within one swing, and Bradley bunts. And he gets there. Base hit center field. Bradley stops at second. That throw is airmailed by Kemp. He's hustling hard. The throw's going to go to first, so it works out like a sack bunt. And as he hit a slow ground ball to for call, second and third. There's ball four. They are loaded. Here it is. And he struck him out on a fastball. Down to their final chance. Andy Wolf got off the hook for the most part. And the one two to Fox swing and the miss at a slider. And that's it. So Ramon Troncoso comes on, pitches two innings to get a tough save, and the Cubs leave the bases loaded in the bottom of the ninth. Two won the final.